Hali, como estás? Hola. How are you? I'm good, how are you? Yeah, long time no see. Right, I'd just yeah, like yeah. to introduce you to my student, Tali, who uh, we haven't actually been able to have a class uh, since March, wasn't it? Was it 13th of March, I think? The, when yeah, the lockdown yeah. started. And Holly's coming back to class, uh, Holly's coming back to classes in September. Um, yeah. And she's very kindly agreed to do this podca uh, podcast and just answer some questions about her experiences in Spain and uh, etc. Yeah. Okay, so Holly, first of all, tell us where you live. Um, I live in Los Barrios, uh -huh. in Torrevieja. In Torrevieja, yeah. Yeah, and I'm from Brighton in England. All ah, right, okay. And uh, are you missing it? Um, no, I'm enjoying life in Spain at the moment, yeah. Right, okay. And how long have you lived in Spain, Halle? Um, Just a couple of days over a year. We moved last year, July the 15th. Right, okay. Ah, right. So you've had your first year anniversary in Spain. Yeah. Right. And what a year. What a year. I mean, what a year to come and live in Spain just as all this is, oh, all this is going on. Sorry. Stop yeah. Quiet. Okay. So. What do you think then, uh, Halle, are the positives of living in Spain? Well, obviously one is the weather, <laughs> because it is hot. <laughs> and just everything really like, just like the towns, the, the culture, it's just uh -huh. like, it's so much better than England. Like the people are like nicer and it's just better, I guess, yeah. Okay, so even the hot weather, do you even like the hot weather as it is at the moment? Um, it can get a bit too much, but you can't take it for granted. <laughs> no, exactly, uh, you can't take it for granted. I no. think when you've, um, like for me, because I've been here a long time, I do, I do take yeah, it for yeah. I know I do. Uh, and I have to remember sometimes uh, how horrible a long winter in in the UK yeah. can be because we don't sort of obviously get that here. So we get, I don't like the hot hot weather, but it's only really eight weeks of the year that we have it really, really hot. Yeah. So you can put up with it for just those eight weeks, I suppose. Yeah. Can you, are there any negatives, do you think, of living in Spain? Um, I would say one negative is the mosquitoes. <laughs> uh, yeah. But they're not bad, really. And of course, where you live in Los Balcones, because you're near the um, Salt Lake. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It is quite bad for mosquitoes there. Yeah. yeah. And what do you do to try? Do you put cream on, or have, have you got a, um, a magic formula to uh, avoid them, or do you just have to suffer it? Um, well, I don't get bitten, but um, we went to a pharmacy because my mum gets bitten a lot, and they said to go to Holland and Barrett in Habaneras. Ah, in Torbeca and buy B1 vitamins. Ah, that's interesting, right. Yeah, and she thinks they're helping. Ah. Like, it gives you something in your blood or something to get rid of, like, they don't what like mosquitoes it. don't like, yeah, yeah. Right, okay. Oh, that's interesting. So that's like a B1 supplement. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you might be able to get in, like, Mercadona as well and yeah. play like yeah. that but uh, anything's worth a try isn't it because yeah. they do seem to bite some people more than others and also yeah. some people seem to have a worse reaction than others like yeah. i don't get a very bad reaction just uh you know a bit it's itchy yeah um, but friends of mine they get like really big sort of um allergic when reactions. My, yeah when my granddad came on holiday he got bitten on his legs and we had to go to the pharmacy and they told him to go to the hospital because oh, it was like really, really bad and they just gave him an injection and with like in two days he was fine he was fine yeah yeah so some people obviously do get so i i personally have found that for a, once you've been bitten i mean to avoid getting bitten uh what's good is the colonia that the the spanish yeah. is that you buy in the supermarket so they use it on their children yeah. That seems to work. I've tried that. And then if you do get bitten, I um, my favourite antidote, if you like, is Savalon. I think you can't beat Savalon. Put it on a bite. And yeah. 
it stops itching within minutes. But um, yeah. yeah, that is definitely a definite a negative of uh, living in Spain is the mosquitoes. Yeah. yeah. And uh, I, I just like that because Hallie is actually my youngest student. But how old are you now, Hallie? 17. 17. Uh, my youngest adult student. I have got a, a little girl who does Zoom classes with me. But um, And what? how long have you studied Spanish, Hallie? Tell us about your experiences with Spanish. So I did Spanish as a GCP in high school in England. Uh -huh. But they just teach you the basics of of Spanish like hola like just the basics but I studied with Vicky for two months nearly uh -huh. three months yeah but that's right. you you've been cut you uh, started more or less right after you came here didn't you was it this time last year that you came to ask about classes it was in it was in August was it was it I thought I it was January I remember you, you and your mom coming along yeah your message and you came along that I feel like it was in the summer break I think Maybe. it was very shortly after and then you started doing classes and of course uh in the, you did classes more or less through then to when we finished I think or was it January you started Maybe I think I, I thought it was January all ah, right I knew it was after a holiday so it must yeah. have been after Christmas in, after the Christmas holiday yeah. Yeah, you came along yeah. and uh, yeah, it's a shame that you got, because you were doing uh, really well actually, obviously you had a basis. Yeah. Um, but you see, and you seem to find that then it put it all more into context. Yeah. That. Okay, so why do you think it's important to learn Spanish? Why do you think it's important? I think it's important because it helps you a lot in situations in the public, for example, like in supermarkets, shopping centres, um uh with your neighbours like yeah. a lot of things yeah it's quite and a lot of Spanish people where you are isn't it so you live in yeah. Los Balcones which is quite a good mixture there's British people yeah. but there's also Spanish people isn't there yeah. yeah and there's also of different so our next door neighbours are Georgian all ah, right okay and then the next door the other way is German but and then all the houses around us are Spanish, right? Like okay. Spanish people. So yeah, there's a lot of. And different... do a lot of those houses, um, do they live there all the year round, or have you found that a lot of people have come out now for the summer to to be in their houses? So next next door to the left, um, they have they live there all the year, like all the time. Yeah. But the yeah. other house is um, just a holiday house for the Germans. So they just oh, come. Right. Okay. Uh -huh. Yeah. And uh, we've said so. You've and have you, you know, obviously now in the summer, you've seen a, an increase in people around and about where you are. Yeah. 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 Okay. And in which? Well, it's more or less what you've just said. Which situations do you need Spanish uh, most? Is there any time uh, where you thought, oh? Thank God I had, but you know, have you been in any situations yet where you thought, oh, you needed uh, to speak Spanish? Because obviously, I mean, I think a lot of people who live in around this area, they think, oh, I don't need to learn Spanish because it is yeah. there's a lot of expats, etc. But then suddenly you get a situation where maybe like the police stop you or uh, you have to go to yeah. the and with taxis, I had a situation with a taxi where they didn't understand what I was saying in English, so I had to remember right. in Spanish. All ah, right, good. Yeah, yeah. You can't yeah. just uh, expect that you'll always get spoken to in English, can you? And then, you know, if you have a problem, it's uh, it makes a big difference if you can at least speak some Spanish. Because if any, if nothing else, even if your Spanish isn't fluent. Um, it, I think it makes them feel better that you're trying to speak to them in yeah. Spanish and they tend to be a bit more helpful, don't they then? Yeah. So uh, so you sorted yourself out with the taxi, did you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and are you interpreting for your mum now and that? Your mum and dad? Are you like the... Yeah, there's a lot of things where they, like, in a supermarket, they'll ask me to ask, a, like, a worker where something is because they don't know or... Yeah. Yeah, so like, Hallie, you, come on. You. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and what do you think was the most or is the most difficult 
unenjoyable thing about learning Spanish in your uh, for you? Um, I think all the different tenses of the verbs <laughs> yeah. very difficult to remember, but once yeah. they're once they're there, they're there. So yeah. once you've remembered yeah. them, they will always like be there. And you, I think you're just at the end of level two now, aren't you? My level two, is it? And starting on level three, or are you on level three, starting on level four? Um, I think I was midway through level three. Yeah. So you you done uh, the past tenses, and they're the hardest. Yeah. And that 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 you know, just I always say to people, just because you learn them once doesn't mean you remember them. You have to go over and over them. Yeah. The past yeah. tenses are difficult, yeah, and then then you get into the level three, and the future tenses are easier, aren't they? They seem a bit yeah. easier, yeah. yeah. Okay, good. And what do you think is the most um, enjoyable thing about learning Spanish? Um, I think the most enjoyable is like the conversation starters, like "Hola, cómo estás?" Like, uh -huh. that's just because like you find that useful more. Obviously, a lot. A lot of it's useful, but just because like it's polite to say hola, buenas dias, like yeah. So that's what I found it most enjoyable learning. Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, and it, like you say, then you can use those, and and also um, it makes you feel that at least your um, what's the word that I'm looking for when when you see your neighbours or whatever you see, yeah, people, yeah. You know, yeah. making some communication with them. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and what advice do you have for, uh, for other students, maybe who are grappling with Spanish or thinking of learning Spanish? What would be a, a piece of advice that you would give them? Um, I would say go over a lot of it, like always keep going over to make sure you're remembering. Yeah. And also speaking to a Spanish person, be confident, and because they would rather you speak Spanish than yeah. speaking English and they don't know English. But yeah, just be confident and go over it, really. Yeah, because you've had quite, I remember when you were doing classes uh, before lockdown, you had quite a few occasions that you got a chance to speak to people in Spanish. When you were yeah, out, yeah. out in places, in, in bars and things like that. Yeah. Um, and um, yeah, now because, you you know, as I always say, when my students come in, I always say, oh, has hablado español? You know, have you spoken Spanish? Yeah. And you, I remember you were one that say, si, sí, yeah, hablado of español, you know, normally they go, no. <laughs> uh, yeah, you'd normally, yeah. you had had a conversation in Spanish, yeah. Um, do you still, uh, I suppose, obviously, you can't go out during the lockdown and that. What about the Abbey and places like that? Have you been going places like that? Um, yeah, started going there. And then oh, they obviously, yeah. got, and then they obviously, because at one point they were saying that um, you can dance. So one week we went there and you could dance. And then the next week we went there and they was like, you're not allowed to dance. Yeah. And it was a bit confusing, but obviously, um, and like, uh, they, I did communicate with them in Spanish. Like I asked them for drinks in Spanish and stuff like that. And obviously it's easier to like read it as well. So like I could understand a lot of things like the rules yeah they have they have a sign and like yeah yeah because the rules yeah. are changing all the time aren't they because i think uh have they stopped it again now in the the nightlife because they, they, they opened up the nightlife for the summer but then they have had a few uh outbreaks in yeah and things like that with, amongst young people you're still allowed to go to the discotecas um but you have to stay on your own table right. um and when you get to you have to wear your mask around like if you're walking to the bar if you're going anywhere you have to wear your mask but as soon as you get to your table you can take your mask off but you're not allowed to dance you're allowed to socialize but you have to keep try and keep two meters or one meter fifth, fifth or one meter and a half I don't really yeah so yeah. I suppose it's so it's like so I don't know if you've but in uh, the abbey for example they've got a lovely big terrace outside uh, yeah yeah I suppose it'd be easier to uh, meet the social distancing uh, there if yeah. you're just outside. That's a good thing, I suppose, yeah. about saying at least most places have got a terraced area outside where yeah. you can at least go and, and feel safer with the distance. But yeah, yeah it's, it's very difficult because it's a shame because it's summer and people want to go out, especially young people want to go out. Um, yeah. 
But even though they have had these uh, outbreaks here and there, I don't think it's come to any, um, they've not necessarily led to deaths, you know, it's like just like they can take the yeah. problem is that young people tend to not suffer with it, but of course you don't know if they're taking it to other people who yeah, yeah, yeah. people like, you know, who might suffer more with it. But um, yeah, hopefully by this time ne next year, we'll be able to you know have a bit more freedom yeah. let's hope so um okay so what do you and why have you found it difficult ah so what have you what have you found useful about my particular method or the method uh, is there anything that um because i know you said you've done the gcse and you felt like you've got lots of little bits what what do, what have you found that's helped you doing classes here um it's very uh laid out like clear like you have like the booklets and the books to help you as well and like it's very clear instructions of what you have to do and thank you you're always there to help and stuff so if you get stuck it's like or you're always there but it's just the way it's laid out like more clear and what you're doing is clear and what you're learning is clear as well right. that is very yeah it's more systematic perhaps than the GCSE yeah. and yeah. what I've found with the GCSE is you learn a, a little bit of everything but you yeah. don't learn anything very thoroughly with the GCSE yeah uh, you learn it's good but yeah. you oh. just learn what you need to learn for the GCSE really and not exactly. yeah. speak yeah yeah and not a what so yeah it's just to get you through that particular exam i suppose yeah 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 because okay. uh, you you have a gcse don't you passed your gcse yeah yeah okay ah and i think this is the last one last question that i've got for you what is one thing that for you is essential for living in space um just like a good mindset because you've got to enjoy every minute of living in Spain because oh. you you only live once so oh, I would yes. say like explore the city you will live in and just enjoy yeah, it most really. of the experience yeah and what yeah. would you be doing now if you were in Brighton avoiding the tourists probably. yeah probably not Do much really. tourists in Brighton in the summer normally is it uh, does it get very busy? Yeah. Yeah. Very busy. It, and uh, well, you probably miss your family and friends, but apart from that, is there anything you miss about uh, Brighton? No. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, well, that's good. That's good. So yeah, we always miss our family and friends, but um, yeah, I think uh, if I was to think, I also think I'm really shallow. The things that I miss about the UK is mainly shopping, you know, shopping centres, or you know, maybe I miss, uh, I don't know, uh, Marks and Spencer's or something. One, like thing, that. one thing I do miss is McDonald's milkshakes. All oh, right, don't they do them in McDonald's? Oh, no. no, they don't do milkshakes. How strange! They don't oh. do milkshakes. They do McFlurries, but not milkshakes. All oh, right, and you think they're because uh, batidos, because that's what they are in Spanish, yeah. milk, they're quite popular here, so you, yeah. that, that's very strange that they don't yeah. do them here. They do them yeah. sometimes on like a, um, on like a, when they've got like their promotion thing, so at the moment there's a cola cow one, I think, ah. but um, they don't do like the normal banana, strawberry, chocolate, oh. vanilla ones like England do. You need to send a uh, send an email or a, put a suggestion in the suggestion. Yeah, yeah. Milkshakes. <laughs> well, I'm sure I'm sure you're not the only one because um, I, I mean it is different here than that. I remember when I came here that the it, they do salad it, and that maybe they do in the UK now. Yeah, yeah. They did it when I came here twenty years ago, and to come <laughs> and they they did beer. You could get a beer. Yeah, which that's different. Yeah. Time. And salad, which they certainly didn't do in the McDonald's in Britain then. No. And people were smoking in there. Yeah. Is, uh, the smoking ban hadn't arrived here yet. So yeah. it's strange. Because uh, you just think McDonald's is something that would be the same everywhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
it's different everywhere you go. Different, slightly different everywhere you go. Yeah. Okay, so I believe so. You um, in your well, in your spare time, I suppose, but uh, it's a bit more than a hobby. You you sing, don't you? Yeah. Yeah. I love singing. Yeah, I know. You'll go all uh, modest now, but you actually are a really, really good singer. <laughs> and um, earlier in the year, you, you entered in the... Um, uh, was Costa it? Breaker. Got Talent. Costa's Got Talent, that's right. I've yeah. forgotten what they called it. And then, of course, that was all brought to a grinding halt because of the lockdown. So do you yeah. think you're going back into that again? Um, most probably with my brother, yeah. Um, my brother plays guitar and I sing my brother sings as well right. but um, yeah we're going to try and start gigging at ah. like bars and restaurants and stuff um, but at the moment it's on a hold just because there's a lot of places that aren't taking newer singers just because they obviously they don't they know the people who have been in if you know what I mean so for this summer they've basically got their line up every bar so we're yeah. going to try and do it in the winter start getting it out in the winter and then try in the summer to get more out right it was probably programmed a long time ago the summer yeah the most important and then of course with the lockdown a lot of uh, entertainers will have been out of work and that must have been very difficult for them and the yeah. bars themselves and the, and yeah so yeah it's just a question of uh, uh, and do, what's the do you have a name for your uh, duo or uh, that we not at the moment have? we're not trying to think of one by the, yeah, when you come up with one, let me know and uh, yeah. look out for it. Uh, it's, yeah, very. Or you see it advertised. Yeah. Oh, good. And the cost has uh, got talent. Is back next year, is it? Next year, I think. In because we auditioned on the 9th of March. Right. Um. So oh, next God. year, really. You auditioned on the 9th of March, and on the 13th it was uh, the lockdown. Yeah. Yeah. And on the 13th, it was meant to be the semi-final as well, because wow. um, there was only three rounds. So there was the audition, semi-final and final. But on the 13th, it was meant to be the semi-final, I think. But on the 9th, it was the auditions, because we were one of the last to audition. Gosh, so many people's plans just went out the window, didn't they? It was yeah. You were actually in class with me on that last day, I think, on that yeah. day. And we all went, see you Monday. Yeah. Yeah, that was it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, very surreal. But, uh, and we went to the, on the, because we saw it on Facebook that we was going to get locked down and obviously the people were going around and that's when I had to use Spanish and try and translate uh, when it was going uh, around. Telling you to stay at home. When yeah, the, yeah, so being, it was a bit silly, but we went to the pub and we was like, let's go to the pub for one last drink before we go in for two weeks. And uh -huh. we were saying to the barman, like, see you in two weeks. Like, hopefully it'll be gone. But, and then obviously we was in there for like well, when, we look back, when I look back now, I think I must have been mad to believe that it would only be two weeks. But they yeah. were back over the government, where they? they sort of just gave two weeks. Because if they would have said to us then, oh, three months. Yeah, we would have been like, no. So they just yeah. did it bit by bit. But yeah, it yeah. was uh, surreal. Very, very strange. But uh, anyway, uh, let's hope we're over the worst of it now. So yeah. Okay, well, thank you, Hallie, and I will see you in September for classes. Yeah. 7th of September, we start again. Uh, yeah. I'm really looking forward to it. I don't know about you, but I'm really looking forward <laughs> to it. Um, and uh, it'd be nice to have, you know, I mean, I've been doing Zoom classes, and that's great. It's uh, yeah. it's great, but it's it, I have missed, obviously, the classroom yeah. environment. So that'd be nice in September to get back to the new normal, La Nueva yeah. Normalidad, uh, and we'll see how it goes. So thanks for giving me some of your time today, Hallie, and I will see no you te veo in septiembre. Sí. Okay. Vale, have a nice day. Adios. Nice evening. Okay. <laughs> Adios. Adios. Adios.